Have you ever been strangled to the point that you thought you were going to die? Good day, I am Rachel Leduc, Ambassador for Women's Potential, and today I will share with you another little story from my life. As you know, there's always things going on with me. Last year, I was on training and uh, self-defense. I needed to learn how to protect myself and that. And, um, you know, I listened to everything and I did all the exercise, the practical exercise they asked us. And then they showed us how to self-defense when you are being strangled. And I was paying attention. It was quite interesting, actually, I must admit. However, at a point they said to us, we're going to uh, put you with somebody else. You're going to be two by two and you're going to have to do this exercise. So one will be strangled and you need to protect yourself. And the minute the teacher said that, I said, oh my Lord, I can't do that. I got really, really scared. And I know exactly why. Because when I was 16, I was raped. And uh, during the rape, I was, you know, fighting the guy, crazy me. And at a point he was strangling me and he almost killed me. So up to this day, for me to be touched at the neck is very, very, very hard. So when the teacher said that somebody was going to strangle me, I was like, oh my God, I was petrified. I didn't know what I was going to do. I said, how am I going to survive this? I can't do this exercise. And then, well, I have to be fearless and I have to do what needs to be done. I, that's who I am. And I always want to be the best that I can be. So I said, I need to find a way to do this because I want to succeed at this and I want to do what needs to be done so that I could move on with my life and let go of that scary part of my past. So the first thing that I did to overcome that fear was to ask a higher power. So what I mean by that, it could be angels, it could be Buddha, God, the universe, whatever. Personally, I believe that the universe has my back. I really do. So I said to the universe, like it was like a prayer, hello, yo, please help me, you know, help me to overcome this, give me the strength that I need, that I need to be able to, to do that. And of course the universe was there and it helped me. Then I said, okay, I've got the help, how am I going to do this? The teacher gave us a, a way of doing it. He explained what you do when you're being strangled. So what I did is I modeled exactly what I was told. I did exactly as I was told. And you know what? It was okay. The third thing that was very important for me to, to do this exercise might seem very um, not important, but it is. The only, the, what I did is I just kept on breathing. I just took a deep breath and I kept on breathing. So by doing so, it calmed me down and I was able to do the exercise at 100%. So the three things that helped me overcome my fear of being strangled and dying was to ask a higher power, higher energy for some help. It was to model how I was taught to protect myself and it was just to remain calm and in control and take a deep breath and breathe throughout the exercise. So these are the three things that I use to overcome my fear. I don't know if you had a chance to uh, be at uh, the, the webinar that I did uh, last week, but if you did not, um, I'm inviting you. I'm going to do uh, a repeat of the webinar because it was very popular and I've received quite a few emails for people to say, oh Rachel, I missed it and I'd like to listen to it, could you replay it? And I got some Facebook um, emails as well and that, so I said, okay, talk to Sabrina and we decided that we were going to replay the uh, webinar on uh, July 23rd. So if you missed it, uh, please uh, come and join me on the 23rd. There's a little button at the bottom of the blog. Just press on it. It will bring you to the page. You do need to register because I have to send you an email with the information, the phone number to call or the uh, where to go on the internet to have access to that free webinar that I will be uh, doing. It will be my 12th trip 12 tricks to overcome your fears. So I'm sure that we will have an interesting hour together and I invite you to join me. Um, in the comments below, please write to me um, how you overcome your fear. Are there any fears that you have overcome that you're so proud of that you, you want to shout it out? Let me know because when I read uh, the, your story, 
it is what inspires me. It is what motivates me to continue to help women and to do whatever I do for women. I'm Asha Lidzik, Ambassador for Women's Potential, reminding you to live your life at your full potential, and I will talk to you real soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.